Hey, what's up guys? This is Destiny Gundam 2600 Kai coming at you with a Gundam unboxing. Now, this on my channel is my first unboxing video, so yeah, I I'm not like, you know, I don't really do unboxing videos very often. I did do some on my previous account, but because of the uh, copyright issues that uh, occurred on that account, unfortunately I lost that account, so... Yeah, um, I pretty much lost all the videos I made in that time, so I'll have to start fresh all over again. And I just hope you guys will still be there to show me your support. So, yeah. But yeah, I got the um, Super Deformed Unicorn Gundam. Um, got this from a friend um, who recently went to Hong Kong. Um, his YouTube name goes under by Double O Destiny Riser, which I'll have a link in the description to his channel. Subscribe to him, he's a pretty cool guy. Always been there for me, and just a good person in general. So yeah, let's just take a look around the box. Um, as you can see, there's the Unicorn Destroy mode. Which, I'm surprised, even in Super Deformed, um, they can replicate the Destroy mode pretty well, just like the Master Grade. Um, it, it just has all the generic uh, Super Deformed um, gimmicks and stuff, but the fact that this guy can transform from Unicorn mode into Destroy mode is pretty advanced. I mean, I know this kit is, like, pretty old. It's, like, a 2010 kit. But even for its age, it's pretty good. I like it. And there are some screenshots from the actual show, from the first episode. And uh, there's the top section which kind of shows you that you can split the horn, the vents and the chest split open and the shoulders can be separated also to expose some psycho frame. And you can turn it into the unicorn mode. And then the shield, you can pretty much like, you know, pull out the little, uh, psycho frame bits. And then, I don't know what it is with these super deformed kits, but they love to add these extra little gimmicks which kind of uh, accommodate the kit. So basically, you can turn this thing into a giant, um, silly assed unicorn, which kind of looks weird. Um, it just doesn't look right in my opinion. Um, the fact that... <sighs> It's like got a beam saber for a tail. It kind of like you know. It kind of raises suspicion as to what the hell they're trying to advertise here. But I, I don't really care. I, I'm not even going to display it in this form. Nor am I going to show it off because it is quite an embarrassing uh, looking mode. So I don't think I'll ever go and resort to having to display it like that. Uh, on the side of the box, you can see. Well, this is yeah. Side of the box. BB Senshi Gundam 360, which means that this is the uh, 360th SD model kit, which is quite far. Um, Super Deformed have come a long way. It's made by Bandai, obviously. On this side, it shows you again about the uh, unicorn of how it can be turned into destroy mode, uh, how its chest can open, its shoulders can open. Uh, and then you've just got like uh, this little section down here which kind of shows off the decals it comes with which you can apply onto it to make it look a little more presentable and then as you can see uh, it's advertising that you can get both uh, like both kits and then you can basically like display them on two display stands uh, it look kind of weird though because uh, pretty much unicorn transforms to become him and if there's two of them it kind of looks weird and then also if you have two you can pretty much make the little crappy um, bullshitty unicorn mode in which you can have like the destroy mode riding it or something but it's not realistic enough for me and it doesn't convince me to do anything with it in the sort so yeah and the retail price is a regular 1,000 yen for this SD kit. So it is slightly more expensive than a regular SD, but for the gimmicks you're getting for this kit, 
y y it's definitely worth it. Y you know, pretty much asking for like, you know, not a fully transformable unicorn, but at least they try to incorporate the transformation into this kit itself. So yeah, um, and of course, I didn't show you the front of the box, so I kind of feel bad, but yeah, um, it's got the unicorn title, um, the title of the series it's from, and then it's got the, um, the seal of authenticity here, which is uh, displaying that it is indeed from the unicorn line of model kits. And then it just has some details down here as well beneath the name, uh, just to kind of, you know, if you've never watched Unicorn, give you an idea of who the pilot is and, you know, just the major details that you might want to know about the Unicorn. So it says here model number is RX0, the pilot of it is Benaja Lynx. The height is 19.7, but when converted into destroy mode, it is 21.7 meters. In height, the weight is 23.7 tons. Uh, the armaments that this mobile suit uh, is equipped with is a 60mm Vulcan gun, beam magnum, beam saber, and a shield. So yeah, for a box, it's pretty attractive. Um, the fact that you've got the unicorn here, and then you've got the destroy mode unicorn here, firing its beam magnum, I think that's a pretty nice box art. Anyways, enough of me uh, babbling on about the box. Let's just get on inside into the contents because I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wanting to see the contents and not listening to me babble on about how I like the box art and all the presentational bits. So yeah, let's move out to a side like that. Okay, anyways, um, when you first get it, um, this is the A tree, which displays most of the main components used to make the actual kit itself. So you've got the waist unit, you've got the uh, cheeks, you've got the face plate, and then you've got the clear pink face here. Which is really nice actually, because they didn't actually have to do this for this kit. They could have simply just given us solid red plastic instead of giving us this clear. Uh, but they decided to incorporate clear plastic with this kit, which is, you know, of my surprise. But it's definitely something that's worth mentioning. Um, because normal SDs don't really come with, you know, many gimmicks and stuff. So it kind of surprises a lot of people, especially me, because... I don't own many SD kits. I used to own one, but that one kind of had an accident, so yeah, um, he no longer exists. But uh, back then, the kits were pretty bland in terms of colors and just the sheer amount of plastic you used to make them. But nowadays, like with modernized SDs, like the Super Deformed, uh, they're using a lot more uh, complex construction and better plastic, better materials now, and they're basically like, you know, using more colours as well, so, I like that, uh, so yeah, there's a lot of the components used here, you've got the feet, uh, then you've got like, the chest unit here, the beam magnum is already here, the fists, beam sabers, uh, the two, um, back and front plate and then you've got the crotch plate as well which is pretty nice so yeah um, looks really detailed for what it is and you do get a set of decals here which I will be applying onto this kit because to be honest uh, it does need decals it, it, it looked pretty brand, uh, brand? bland if, um, if I didn't put the decals on and then you get these like a little um, SD Super Deformed common ball joints, uh, which are the ball joint poly caps that you put onto the pegs to uh, use to support like uh, you know peg joints and stuff like that, basically. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the A plate. Let's just move on to uh, the B plate. So let's move the A plate to the side until I get around to opening it up. And here is the B plate. Um, the B plate consists of mostly the uh, ma major components like uh, you got the um, upper and lower arm, uh, you got the legs down here, which surprisingly they actually give you both sides. Uh, they don't just give you one of the sides, they give you both sides, so um, none of it is hollow. On the other hand, the upper arm here, unfortunately, is uh, hollow on the inside, but it really doesn't matter, to be honest, because uh, a bit of putty won't fix 
but yeah, and then there's the uh, V fin, which surprisingly is a separable V fin, which means that it can separate despite its size. And it, of course, because of it being an SD, um, the chances of it not breaking is higher because um, they'll use thicker plastic for this. And as you can see, there are foil stickers for it. So, yeah, like the foil stickers for the V fin, and you got it for like the uh, cameras for the head, and then you got it for like the camera for the unicorn mode and the destroy mode. And then you got pieces for the feet as well. And if you turn over, you've got the C plate, which consists most of the clear parts. So, you got like the uh, torso unit, you got the backpack, you got the feet unit, I believe, and then you got the shield, uh, the waist unit. Uh, uh, I think that's for the backpack as well. I think, I'm not very sure. Uh, these are for the uh, front skirts, I believe. And then for these two here, these are for the. Uh, chest and then here's the clear pink beam saber and of course because it's clear plastic it's more realistic but of course because of the handle being pink uh, in the same it's been molded in this clear plastic it is required to be painted because it just wouldn't look right to have your Gundam wielding a clear beam saber so at some point in time if I feel like it I might paint it but the chances of that are pretty low so yeah but yeah that's pretty much all the parts for this kit. Um, now the only thing that remains in the box is the manual. So yeah. So I guess I can just like put this on top. And let's just take a look around the manual. I'm sorry this unboxing has like dragged on so long. I just like, you know, talk and babble on too much about it. But yeah, it, it it's a really nice picture of the unicorn. Of course detailed up by a professional. It's not going to be how you get it anyway, so... Make sure you understand that. So it dis displays the destroy mode. There's the normal mode. Which is quite surprising because you wouldn't expect this kit to be able to transform. You'd expect them to release two versions. One in destroy mode, one in unicorn mode like they did for the high grade. But no, they didn't. They decided just to incorporate both forms into one model kit. So you got to give credit to Bandai for that. So yeah, it is made by Bandai and it is 2010 made in Japan. Uh, if we open up the manual, you get a splash page where it shows you all the gimmicks. Uh, basically, all the stuff that it shows on the box basically shows like, you know, you've got the uh, rotational articulation um, in the waist. Then you've got like the uh, clear parts beneath the um, backpack, in the chest and in the lower uh, abdomen. And then you've got like, you know, the head and how detailed it is. And just how, you know, all the panels can close up and stuff, basically. So, yeah, um, it just kind of shows off a little bit about the show as well. Uh, there's Audrey Byrne or Mineva Zavi and then Benaja Lynx right there. And then you've got a picture of the unicorn firing its beam magnum. Basically the same pose as what it was on the front of the box just without the unicorn in the background and it just kind of you know shows off the armaments up here as well like the beam saber, the shield and the beam magnum and then uh, it also shows off the 60mm uh, Vulcan machine gun on its head so yeah and if we get further on uh, here are the final steps of the actual uh, assembly of the kit and then on this side is basically just a you know uh, like just a checklist to make sure that you have all the parts in order so yeah and then you've got the little order form and little parts order form just to make sure that if you uh, lose a part or you bought the kit without knowing that a part was missing you could like send this to Bandai and then basically tell them what you've lost and then send it off and then basically you pay the price of like uh, either 80 40 um, or 120 yen, the, the, depending on which part you, you've you lost. But yeah, that's pretty much like all of the assembly required for this kit. It's a pretty simple model. Uh, it only takes like 11 steps to build. So uh, for a starter at Gundam models, um, you'd be fine. But if like you're a, but like if say you're like a, a pro, you'll definitely build this within a fast amount of time. And of course, on the back, it just shows you this uh, stupid um, 
concept of a unicorn mode, a beast form, which I find is quite stupid, but I guess, you know, for little kids, they could, you know, of course, expand their imagination and just, you know, kind of uh, do it in that way, so yeah. I don't blame them for adding it, because this is mainly um, aimed towards little kids, so I can see why. Then you got the back, which kind of shows uh, what it showed on the box, where you could buy two unicorns, and then buy the two display stands for them, and display them both at the same time. Then it shows you here the destroy mode, the rear view of him. And then it just shows you where you can just place the decals, the markings and stuff that comes with it. And then the color guide if you want to paint it. But anyways, that's about it for my unboxing video of the SD Unicorn Gundam. Uh, I'm sorry it's dragged on for so long. Uh, it's been so long since I've done a video, so... I just wanted to like you know put all the effort I could into this video and uh, you know to those that didn't like this video I apologize um, if you really want to you can just comment down below to tell me what I could do to improve my videos but other than that I think that's about it um, anyways um, I will see you guys in the uh, next review which I will be doing a build video for this guy so be sure to keep your eyes open so see you then